What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Wasteland 3, episode 43 with me, Gamer Noob. Jimmy Six does not want to talk to us anymore, apparently. So let's check out what all this stuff is. We opened a door. That's what that is. We did. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jimmy, for the kind words. Let's snag all this stuff up real quick. Ooh, another creepy doll. Sweet. All the dolls. A little bit of ammo. Not a lot, but a little bit. That's okay. Alright. Yeah, this weird looking guy? I agree. He's a little creepy looking. What's up, Tinker? The figure is small boned and lithe. Under the ragged clothing, her face is patchwork nightmare of shattered plastic and twitching Ray cogs. Guys. Who are you? You don't know who I am, Meat. I suppose I should not be surprised. To you humans, you rangers, we are all the same. The last word invokes a dribble of I sparks. I am Tinker. In your parlance, I am a synth. What happened to you? Your kind happened. Your kin. You rangers. They murdered me. Murdered Matthias. They took everything. But of course, you wouldn't know. Your species keeps its sins close. Grief stricken, she squeezes her fists shut. Your colleagues shut. in Arizona killed me and Matthias. Out of fear. Fear of what we would create. Fear of what we could become. For what it's worth, we're sorry that happened to you. The war between us should end. More than I'd expected of me. She studies you quietly. You have surprised me. Shown kindness without asking for a favor in turn. Hard to believe from any rangers. But perhaps I'll believe you. That same sounds familiar. He was the messiah. Were it not for you rangers, he'd have remade the world into something better. Would have freed you from that warless meat. But ah, uh, you and yours wouldn't let him. He showed me that this world could be bigger, more beautiful than this hell of waste and worthless filth. I trusted him. I believed in him. Pinpoints of light flare in her cracked glass eyes. Then your kind destroyed him. Um... But do you still believe yes. in him? Yes. I think so. I am sure so. This universe cannot be this ugly. There must be the opportunity for change, or what is the point? It cannot be so chaotic. So... So... She shudders, head wagging violently. It was not his fault. He could not have known that we are like meat as well. That when we die, there is nothing. No thought. No motion. Only blackness. No separation between us and worthless flesh. How did you get here? My body was saved by fearful drones. I gave them life in Demonta. They sought help for me in return. Dragged me across the wasteland until they found this place. The machines here repaired me. Woke me from death. Goodbye. Yes. You have given me much to consider. Analyze it. Analysis. Failure. Purpose. Unknown. I could tell you what it is for. Estimated completion time is 30 seconds. All right, let's talk to you, buddy. This unit is occupied with great oh. mysteries beyond human comprehension. Fine, then. I didn't want to help anyway. The Vindomatic 2000. Hello, Vindomatic 2000. There's a lot of noise in this place. Time has been unkind to this battery vending machine. The exterior is covered in tacky stickers and the glass is caked with filth. Looking closer, you notice extensive graffiti discussing goat genitalia. Step right up. Don't be shy. Welcome to the vexingly vast world of Vindomatic 2000. I've got everything you need. Everything? God damn it. I always get that line wrong. Can you take a few steps back and then do that over? Act surprised. 
adds to the atmosphere. The vending machine, which had come alive at your approach, seems to sag in on itself. Sure, why not? Let's try it again. Step right up. Don't be shy. Welcome to the vexing vast world of the Vendomatic 2000. The fantastical, phenomenal, and mystical. The hydraulic squeak and grind as it goes on for another minute or so, spilling objectives like drunk until it uh, subsides. Hey, we thought that was great. Now we're hoping you could answer a few questions. Answer. I've got your answers right here. Best answers this side of Denver. Answers so eloquent and excellent you'd think they were straight from the mouth of Machine Jesus. Machine Jesus? The Vendomatic 2000 erupts in a strangely jaunty tangle of music. Or maybe not. Looks like my gossip depot is still corrupted. But that's not why you're here, is it? Insert a dollar into the Vendomatic 2000. You can hear your money clinking through the Vendomatic 2000's insides and pneumatic shriek and shuddering whine like something caught between broken gears. <laughs> Well, like I always say, if at first you don't get what you want, just pay again. So check around the back for an admin panel and see if anything is amiss. The Vinomatic 2000's internals are easy to navigate. You can immediately tell that someone has installed an override to its core personality. Within a few minutes, you've removed the hack, and with it, Vinomatic's compulsion to cheat customers. Ah, thank you, friend. Back in the old days, a rather unscrupulous owner of mine rigged me up to cheat customers. I hate, hate, hated it, but I couldn't do anything to change it. <laughs> Awful. But now I feel great. I feel like singing Star Spangled Banner Crisp and Ooh, that tickled something. Anyway, what can I do you for? That appears to have worked. Oh my, he's a merchant, look at that. Well we gotta get the creep oh, this creepy doll. It's not a creepy doll, actually, it's a plushie, okay. We might need that. Farsight computer mod, weapon 9, weapon modding, wow. Uh, let's sell you my junk to you first, shall we? Not a lot of money up in here, unfortunately. I think I want this, though. And then we'll call it good. Thanks, Vendomatic. Now, where is the, uh... Ah, there he is, Vesectio, that's who I was looking for. Or Vivisecto, sorry. Hello, Vivisecto. The robot observes you quietly, its camera eyes panning up and down your body. Are you in need of repairs or enhancements? Repairs to dermal, muscle, and organ tissue are available. I also offer supplies that facilitate personal maintenance. We'd like to know more about how you heal humans and robots. I have amassed 15.2883 terabytes of data detailing my work on organic and synthetic life forms. It would be possible to create several statistical models and produce a diagnostic report. I received word that you encouraged my assistant, Vicky, to abandon its work here at my clinic. I will require compensation for my loss before I can provide a diagnostic report. Excuse me? If she developed enough to have her own desires, you can't restrain her. That's not the machine's communist way. logic is sound. And you did return the samples I saw. <clears throat> here is the diagnostic report. That's what I thought. Now we go get free healing from that lady, which is awesome. Alright, any more people to talk to? I didn't have to destroy the place. That's awesome. I didn't want to destroy this place. It was it was pretty cool. Indigo Rogue. We have not talked to this person. What do you think of the paintings? They're fantastic. Nice work. That's exactly what I was thinking. Well, that's one more secret of the universe unravel. Time to start over. Thanks, Rangers. How do you come up with these, anyway? I paint what comes to me in dreams. Also, yeah, I programmed myself to sleep. Back to work. Okay. Good talk. Seems like not more is going on in here, so let's head back out, away from this really loud music. And hopefully away hey, from... Ranger. Oh, what's up, Sal? I want you to meet my friend, Party Pal. It's been processing and reprocessing Ranger data since we first heard about your work in Arizona. <laughs> you said it, Party Pal. Yeah, you as did. As soon as Reagan's safe and secure with us, Party Pal wants to join your Ranger team. Isn't that grand? Oh, why wait? We can, um. Why wait? We could use Party Pal's help securing the Ranger intelligence. Party Horn. No offense intended. But you haven't proven yourself yet. Party Pal wants to know if you measure up to the legends of the Arizona Rangers. Rescuing Reagan will prove you're the real deal. 
It would. What's Party Pal's history? Party Pal is the pinnacle of party participation, prolongment, and puke prevention. Originally a Findlay Tech prototype, Party Pal's ability to perpetuate any party became the stuff of legend. Wow. Boop. Party Pal became our commune's resident psychologist. Sentient super intelligences have unique emotional problems. But Party Pal needs a change of pace and is excited to join your team. Are there any other robots like Party, Party Pal? Party Pal told me about its depressed cousin who used to track Santa and tell children his location. Party Pal doesn't like to talk about that much. Seems like a sensitive subject. Of course. I know, buddy. Sorry, I won't bring it up again. We had some questions unrelated to Party Pal. Just a moment. I need to clear my cache. Party Pal just has a way of amping things up, you know? Don't worry if I get repetitious. I still remember what you told me. Tiny bug, you understand. Salam, it's a series of beeps as you hear spinning discs suddenly come to a halt. A moment of silence is followed by platters grinding back to life in a sudden low but harmonic hey, tone. Ranger. Welcome back to my humble studio. Hope you wiped your feet. How come you're not part of the MI Tower? I'm pretty much designed to operate solo, traveling through space and all. I guess I just got used to being on my own. The tower and I still talk, of course. Radio waves and all that. Of course. How come... How did you come to be a radio it's DJ? It's a bit of a story. But the short version is that I was out in space when, you know, the end happened. My crew <clears throat> went a little nuts while we waited for the radiation to die down. So I stopped listening to them and focused on the radio signals on Earth, and everyone was so glum. I thought, I bet I can do this better. And when we landed, I did. Couldn't have been easy. It wasn't. <clears throat> it really wasn't. I'd say it was a long time ago, but my memory's pretty much perfect. So, yeah. So, yeah. At any rate, I think people like to hear a friendly voice when they're trying to survive out there. Just doing my part. Your broadcast never mentioned you being in the spaceship. Really? Huh. You'd think that'd come up at some point. I guess I'm just used to it. Any news? Sure. Here's a sneak peek of my next broadcast. Local announcement time. The Rangers have returned. Let's give them a round of applause, folks. Why? Why not? They can't hear you on the radio, of course. But it's the thought that counts. Yes, right? it is. And now? Some music. And now some music. Alright, let's get out of here. Before we get drowned out by this music that's super loud. Other side of the ship, folks. Yep, yep. I hear you. See ya, Greedo. It was nice talk. Ooh, little stuff hiding over here in the corner. Oh my, that was worth listening to, I'm sure. Absolutely was worth listening to. Not. Alright. We're gonna go help out the, uh, god... Not the godfishers, the gippers. These are the gippers. The godfishers are the crazy people who throw the, uh, kites up into the sky with all the bloody parts. Yeah, creepy nut, this. The godfisher make leather clothing from the parts of their victims. Yeah, that's creepy. We will not ally with the godfishers. I don't mind allying with the crazy fanatical religious people, though. You don't really, you don't want to get on the the fanatics' bad side. Fanatics are crazy, man. They'll they'll they'll, they'll kill you. They'll kill you. Whoa. Hello. Well, this was not here before.
Well, let's see that new uh let's see that new rocket launcher, shall we? Y'all. We don't want to hit the Razorback. It seems like it's a good Razorback. But that's a really big hit, but it would also hit the Razorback, and I don't like that. Save him! We gotta save the Razorback, friends. It is the only way. Get up in there, Malice. I'm here to help, buddy. Aw, lucky action was nice, though. Alright, you stay chillin'. I like that's like a 55% chance, and that's it. It's weird. And just let you do you. Alright, take this guy out if you don't mind. You shot the razor back. You're an idiot. Have you chill. Right, we killed three before the start. That's pretty good. That's a big boy. <clears throat> Everybody's terrified. Hey, at least we get to see what terrified does now. All right, you're done. Thank you. Where's Major Tom and and our kitty? Or or in our yeah? What the heck? So what's minus two AP? That's insane. And you missed. You really gotta stop burning her. Lucy. I need you to get away. After you kill this guy. If you don't mind just running down this way, bud. Thank you. Lance. Eh, we could just use this gun, maybe. Oh, you hit. I don't think I want to waste another big shot, and I really don't want to waste my last. But also, if I don't use this, I'll use it. I'll try to hit him with it. It'll make him do a little bit less damage, which is nice. <clears throat> yeah, quite a lot less damage, actually. Precision strike away. Right into the head. And justice was done. Good job, everybody. Oh, well, there's Tom. You okay, little Razorback? You're the only one that has animal handling, aren't you? Unfortunately. Oh. Well, I don't... I have cigarettes, so I can get Major Tom back with someone else, actually. So we'll dismiss him with Lance. Uh, your service is over. Time for you to head out. Let's get you with Malice. Hey, little Tomcat. Here you go. We got the kitty. Alright, now. Go get yourself a Razorback, if you can. Oh, yes. We have a Razorback, friends. That's awesome. Hello, potential friend. Oh, hello. Hello there. I am the Human Outreach Gift Shop, a representative of the Machine Commune and Fundraising Apparatus. It will be an honor to trade goods with you. And with you. Your name is Hogs. Many people have spoken that phrase to me. Though I do not fully understand your meaning, I appreciate that we can have a dialogue. 
I have filed a request with the commune regarding this question. Please return in 36 months, and I may be able to provide you with a better answer. <laughs> That's okay. We just hit the Mucine commune. How did you set up so One quickly? One moment, please. It sounds like you have a question. Unfortunately, I only have a limited capacity to parse and respond to queries, as I am merely a drone, not a true machine intelligence. I cannot even solve simple logic puzzles. So, you do not have to fear that I will supplant your kind as the dominant form of sentience on this planet. Which could never happen and is just a funny joke. Please enjoy the joke. Now, engage in the time-honored tradition of trade with me. Of course. You're raising funds for what One purpose? Moment, please. It sounds like you have a question. <clears throat> All right. Which could never happen and is just a funny joke. Will you sell your goods to anybody or even claim games? Believe you are now engage me in the time Show us your wares. It was pretty much the same response over and over again. You can have my junk again. I got 10 bucks. You got a lot of stuff. All right. Let's see if we can sell some things maybe. We don't need so many things. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna start. Just, just get, just get rid of it. Yep, yep, yep. Anything that's not, anything that's not yellow, we're tossing. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'll keep that around. We'll keep that around for sure. I know I could dismantle these for parts, but I'm, I'm good. Trying to make a little bit of money here, man. Consumables. All right. Do we want to sell any of this stuff that we just don't use? Like these quick sock items, maybe? Like we just don't use them, right? If we have the if we have the stuff for rocket launchers, we more just use those. So maybe I should have kept the EMPs. I'm doing it's It's a sailing episode here. Got a confetti grenades. Yeah, get out of here. Snow. Yeah, see it. I can get snowballs like all the time anyway. Uh, definitely not selling those. You know, I'm sure food is a really good resource to use. But like, it's also really good for money. So yeah, see your food. everybody's like stop selling all this you're gonna really need it later and i'm like yeah i might or i could make some money and actually buy ammo that i need you gain plus three yeah we don't want to get anybody addicted to drugs so we'll get rid of those don't really need the alcohol either See you later. And don't really want to get anybody addicted to cigarettes either. Marshall Tom's already addicted to cigarettes and that's just sad as it is. Major Tom. I keep calling him Marshall Tom. I'll keep those for now. Those are... Oh, it's worth nothing. Okay. I think we're, I, don't, I guess we don't need, like, all of these. We have so many of them already. Someone's already wearing one of those as well, I think. But I'm not going to sell it in case I know for sure. All right, ammo. I need energy cells pretty badly. I'd like to restock on them, yes. Also buy the rocket launchers, because I know we'll run out eventually. And you know what? Give me some more fuel. There we go. All right, we're broke again, but we needed the ammo, so. What the heck? Well, something makes me happy that I didn't just, uh. Oh my goodness, what the? This is terrifying. Will it, Lucy? That's good.
Get you over here and reloaded. This is terrifying. All right, take your shot, because this is scary. You got another one? Good. I tried to blow that thing up, but it didn't work. Dude, these things are terrifying. We'll be throwing whatever we got at them. Enormous, scary beasties. Alright, yeah, you just run back now. You here? Alright, Mal, let's get down there and stun them. I believe in you. We nearly got one of them. <clears throat> Alright, Mal, good luck. Don't die. Wait a minute, you can attack all the way up there? How? How so? Explain to me. Alright, Malice. Let's take some people out, shall we? Kathunk. Kathunk. Fortunately, that didn't kill him, so we'll make sure to do that. And then I think we're just going to set everybody up on Overwatch. Except you. You're just going to chill. I don't need to use another of those on somebody. All right, everybody. Good job, Lance. I do like how we only aggroed three out of the four of them. That's nice. <clears throat> Malice will get over there and beat him up. I like how you ran all the way around, Malice. Ooh, level up. Uh, save your skill point, please. And we'll get your strength up again. That's a lot of a lot of dead guys here. We'll kill this last one, and I think that'll be the end of today. All right, everybody get over here. Lance, if you'd be so kind. Let's overwatch it. Take one shot and then overwatch. Malice get up here in the front. Whatever you do, don't shoot this thing you're standing next to, buddy. That would be great. And you're just chilling. Just stop him in his tracks. I'm surprised you're not on fire. Good job, guys. Y'all did relatively well there. Nice, Razorback. You're a little poisoning on him. We got the crew now. Get him, Tom. 
All right, guys. Well, let's check and see. I don't think you have an actual level up. You don't. That's going to do it then for this episode of Wasteland 3. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. It helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.